so guys i know a lot of you shoot content with your phones with your digital camera and have you ever watched any video either on youtube tiktok or instagram and ever wondered why is it that this particular video audio sounds so good so today i'll be talking about a particular wireless microphone in which you can use to level up your audio game whenever you are there creating content or shooting any sort of video so today i'll be talking about a particular wireless microphone called the Synco a2 g2 wireless microphone i think this a2 g2 means um two transmitter and one receiver because i've used the g1 a1 series before i've been using it for over a year now and i actually really love this particular uh, microphone wireless microphone so that's why i said i'll be talking about this particular new one i just got and how powerful this microphone is as you can see straight out of the box this is the Synco g2 series um, wireless microphone it is called the g2a2 professional ultra compact wireless microphone it also comes with a wireless charging case straight inside the uh, wireless charging case we have the tx 2tx and um, one rx meaning two transmitter and um, one uh, receiver as you can see it also comes with different cables like the standard cable for digital cameras it also comes with an android cable and with two other cables in which you can use to connect with other devices like the type c input to mobile devices and it also comes with two different lavalier mics and also a very small wind um, shield just to prevent the wind if you are filming outside it also comes with clips in which you can use to clip the lavalier mic onto your body looking at it they are all well labeled in rx tx tx meaning transmitter transmitter and receiver so the receiver is what you mount on your camera while the transmitters are the one you mount to your body here is a close picture of the receiver it has a mini display at the front and at the back you can find a clip in which you can use to attach this unit to your body looking at the side of this unit you can find a six level gain control on the transmitter and on the receiver at the top of this receiver we have a real-time monitoring output and also an output in which you connect directly to your camera or to any device in which you are using to record here is a close picture of the transmitter and also at the back of this um, transmitter we also have a clip in which you can use to attach this particular unit onto your body and on the side of this transmitter we have the input for the microphone and we also have a type c fast charging port it also has a mute button in which you can use to mute this particular transmitter the other side of this transmitter we have a gain control button in which you can use to reduce or increase the gain of this particular transmitter and also a one-time click noise reduction button without using the external lavalier microphone the inbuilt microphone to this particular transmitter is top-notch here is a close picture of the lavalier mic the frequency range is 50 hertz and the sensitivity is minus 35 uh, decibel it also has a little windshield in which you can attach to the lavalier microphone and it also has 3.5 mm input jack in which you can connect directly to the transmitter here is the standard connecting cable in which you use to connect your receiver directly onto your camera also we have another cable in which you can use to connect the receiver directly to your smartphone any smartphone that uses this particular input it also has a type c to type c cable in which you can use to connect the receiver directly to any type c input and it also has an adapter in which you can use to convert the type c output to an iphone um, output in which you can record directly on your iphone if you are filming with your iphone here is the charging case which has the battery capacity of 3400 mAh and carefully looking at the charging case it has been carefully inscribed on the charging case where all this particular unit should be seated i mean the charging ports of each unit that is the rx the receiver the tx which also stands for the transmitter this charging case has a charging port of type c and also has a power requirement of 5 volts 1 ampere and the width of this charging case is about 277 grams 
here is a quick demonstration on how you can connect your camera with this particular wireless microphone you carefully press the clip while you insert directly onto the alt mount provided on your camera and ensure it's firm if you look at the cable you'll see where they inscribe the logo of a camera and also the logo of a microphone you ensure the particular input that has the logo of a microphone goes to the output of the receiver while the other part that has the logo of a camera goes directly into your camera on the side of the transmitter you will find the mic inputs you carefully insert into the port make sure you have a firm connection so after connecting the external lavalier microphone onto your transmitter you press and hold on the power button until it comes up from the mini display provided on this transmitter the G2A2 dual wireless microphone comes with three recording modes, the mono, the stereo and the safety channel. When the safety channel mode is activated, the audio recorded into the right channel will be 6 dB lower. This works to avoid unforeseen audio spikes caused by noise from vehicles or any other thing that may be a source of noise when you are recording. It also comes with a full manual in which you can also go through to find more hidden features of this particular wireless microphone. This particular wireless microphone only cost about 120 US dollars. So right now, filming this content, I'm actually using this particular microphone. As you can see, I attach the lav um, extension to my clothes and I have the transmitter right inside my pocket. So what I'm going to do now is I will try to disconnect the lav mic, the one you are seeing here, and use the uh, inbuilt uh, microphone because this particular um, wireless microphone has both a um, mic on the body of the uh, transmitter itself and also have a port whereby you can attach a lav microphone. So I'm going to detach the lav microphone and use the inbuilt microphone so you can have an idea how both the lav mic sounds and the inbuilt mic sounds. So I've detached the um, lav mic and this is me using the inbuilt mic on this particular um, transmitter to actually talk to the camera right now. So I actually feel using the lav mic um, cuts down some level of noise whereby if you are using this particular transmitter alone, it tends to uh, capture um, a lot of, let me say, room or ambience noise. So this particular wireless microphone uses the 2.4 gigahertz um, transmission technology, which is a powerful technology that blocks interference and ambience noise compared to the uhf mics in which we know when we are using uhf mics we used to encounter a lot of interference this particular technology cuts down ambient noise and also cuts down interference you might uh, encounter when you are there creating your content i would say in terms of sound quality i will give this particular wireless microphone 80 percent compared to the road wireless good soup but we all know that the price tag is the major difference between the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the Synco A2G2 wireless microphone. So who is this particular uh, microphone for? If you're a content creator or a filmmaker who is on the budget side and you don't want to spend a lot of money on getting a uh, wireless microphone, you can actually try out the Synco A2G2 wireless microphone. So let me know what you feel about this particular wireless microphone in the comment section and if you own this particular wireless microphone you can also give your feedback in the comment section so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i drop another content like this thank you to meet next time